envelopes are used in many Melder production products and are an extremely versatile tool for defining shapes. Envelopes consist of an unlimited number of points. You can create a point by double clicking with your left mouse button. Similarly, you can delete a point by double clicking on it again. You can drag a point with your left mouse button. Select multiple points by dragging a rectangle over them. Hold shift to add or remove points from the selection. You can then move the whole selection by dragging any of the points. Press delete to erase all of the selected points. Drag with your left mouse button whilst holding the control key to draw an envelope. Use the right mouse button instead to delete points. In this case, all points above and below are removed. Click your right mouse button to display additional settings and features. Enabling Snap to Grid allows points to be inserted or moved to positions on the grid marked by horizontal and vertical lines. Points can be locked so that they cannot move or change. Locked points are indicated by the color red. Control a single point or selection by right-clicking on them. Click on an empty space to affect all of the points. Selecting the Distribute Points button moves all of the selected points an equal horizontal distance from each other. The Randomize button moves all points vertically by a random amount and the Clear Points button erases the selection. The Step Sequencer button generates a very simple to edit step sequencer-like envelope. The Number of Steps slider changes the length of the sequence. The circle in the middle of each segment controls envelope curvature. Drag it upwards or downwards to change its shape. Selecting it or the nearest point on the left shows additional settings. Firstly, there are several predefined modes. Use free mode to drag the curvature circle both horizontally and vertically. Smooth mode hides the circle and smooths the connection between multiple segments. Stairs mode creates steps between the two points. Use the curvature circle to control the number of stairs produced. Similarly, pulses mode creates several pulses, which behave in the same way. Double-click the curvature circle to restore its default middle position. You can control the curvature modes of multiple points at once by selecting them and right-clicking on one of them. The Clear Curvature button restores the default curvature of all points in the selection. Every point also has a smoothing feature, which allows smooth connecting between neighbouring points. Both sides are smoothed evenly by default. Disable the Lock Sides button to control each side separately. The size of the smoothing region is also the same on both sides. Disable this by turning off Proportional. Double click on the Point Smoothing control or select the Clear Smoothing button to restore the default No Smoothing action. Finally, a Draw mode hides all points and their controls and lets you draw the shape freehand.
As with all editors, you can zoom into the area using the scroll bars and zoom controls below and on the right. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom to position. By dragging a rectangle whilst holding the ALT key, you can zoom to that position. <laughs>